Good morning from Mexico and welcome back to our YouTube channel. So today is day four of our trip to San Miguel, Guanajuato. Um, I, we have a lot of stuff on the agenda today. Today we're meeting some more families. I'm doing a presentation to assist some families with their businesses on social media. I'm really excited about that. The kids have uh, a whole event with Caminamos Juntos where they're going to be playing games. So you guys will get to see all of that. But while I was here, Nicole, the CEO, um, said that she had a really good hairdresser here. And so I asked her if she could score me an appointment and she absolutely did. So today I'm gonna get a little bit of me time and I'm gonna get this mane of mine cut and styled so that it is uh, looking a little bit better. As you guys know, if you've been following for a while, I don't get my hair cut here. I've had a couple bad experiences. And so I'm really excited. I'm gonna introduce you to Tal. This is, um, he's the one that's going to be doing all of this magic. And then of course I'll link his social media so you guys can see it. And we'll do a little before and after and you guys can see how this goes. And hopefully I can get a little bit of his beautiful home because it's absolutely stunning. So if you like what you're watching, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. my unruly mane you guys look at how long this is so crazy the last time I had my hair cut was in a hotel in Mexico City uh, last October because my friend who works for Olaplex her they were down doing like conventions and that and so we met them there and um, Amine which is another friend there it is look at all that Amine so which is thick. it is so thick <laughs> Amine, which is another friend, just uh, she, I begged her to cut my hair because it hadn't been cut in so long. So she just cut it in the hotel room. <laughs> but it's been a long time since somebody has like washed my hair and. Oh yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. The full treatment today. Yes. <laughs> very, very excited. Okay, let's wash. Okay. So now we're cutting layers into my hair, which is always fun because I have so much hair. <laughs> I forgot how nice it was to um, have somebody else wash my hair. It's like, <laughs> forgot how nice that was. Special oh, treatment. Special treatment. And I also have a beautiful coffee. Just very, very excited. All right, guys, uh, I'm going to put in a little bit of the TikTok footage that I took because I did a reaction for TikTok and I'm not gonna lie, I cried, I forgot. I always forget how nice it is to get your hair done and just do something for you. And I, my hair looks amazing. I'll flip the camera around so you guys can see it full and all of its glory, but my hair looks incredible. Tal did an amazing job and I'm also gonna show you how much hair he took off of my head. <laughs> All right, this is my pile of hair, you guys. How did I have that much hair on my head? <laughs> Look at my foot next to it. That is so crazy. Until next time, hair, it'll grow back so fast, but that's a crazy amount of hair. Shut up. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cry. Well, <laughs> how do you feel? It's amazing. Right? <laughs> yeah. It's so pretty. It's been a long time since my hair's felt this pretty. Now that my hair is done and we are at the Caminamos Juntos event, I am going to be up on this stage presenting. I have a whole presentation put together. 
Um, we are going to talk to a couple of the families that Caminamos Juntos has helped, and we're going to talk to them about how to grow their businesses on social media. That's my portion of it. There's also another presenter that's going to be talking about microloans um, down here, and so it's a lot of fun. And I'm going to take you over and show you what the kids will be doing while we do the boring presentation stuff. And then we also have, as you can see behind me, they're getting some lunches set up. Um, and so hopefully we'll get to show you guys a little bit of everything that's, that's happening today. Okay, so this whole facility, like this whole area and everything was all donated to Caminamos Juntos to use. They also have some lunch that's been donated and things like that. Um, we got some potato salad made by, uh, I think Nicole made that, but I'm not sure, but I know for sure she made the rice. Um, and then we also have some agua frescas. All right, Alonzo is giving us a, well, he's our guide. He's taking us to the relay race for the kids. And Alonzo, what are you, what's your part in the relay race? Uh, I have to watch the kids and make sure they do everything right. And then I have to like hand them the balls and stuff. And then I'll show you this right here. So you're a, you're a referee slash babysitter today. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> oh, I like this. Very cool. Uh, there's going to be a line right here. Okay. And then uh, you have to get the ball. So, like these things, like hit it through, like each cone. Oh, okay. And then once you make it over there, you have to jump. Like... We're going to let, we're going to have Alonzo demonstrate the relay. <laughs> and then you have to like jump from one like, to the other. Okay. And then after you get through here, you go over here and then you have to you get three tries and then you have to throw it and then you have, just have to like keep repeating it until oh, okay. you get it on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now you and being then, a pro already. <laughs> and then after they make it, uh, I give them back the tennis ball and then they have to roll it to the next person in line. Oh cool. And then so the path is right here so you have to like hit it. You have to try and like make it like hit it all the way down there to the next person. Oh, wow. And then once the whole line's through, uh -huh. it's over. Nice. Yeah. Nice. And here's Diego. <laughs> Thank you for the demonstration, Alonzo. Yep. So they're also doing like something on the soccer field. Where they've got like the donuts hanging on strings over there, all the way over there. Let me try and zoom in so you guys can see it. So that's like the race to eat the donut the fastest. They've also got some uh, snacks over here set up for the kids. We donated some candy so that all the kids can win some candy as they play. So lots of, uh, lots of cool stuff going on for all the kids. accedido a asistir el día de hoy. Eh, la primera es Ezequiel Mojica, que lo pueden ver ahí en frente de todos, muy elegante con su traje. <risa> y eh, tal vez ya han escuchado de él, él es uno de los fundadores de Apoyo ah, a Emprendedores. Exactamente, perdón. Ah, sí. que... ah, sí. Sin embargo, es eh, sumamente conocido en la comunidad San Miguelense por ser uno de los promotores sociales en la sociedad desde hace muchos años, tiene una larga historia desde siendo promotor en casa, además de pues, apoyar a diferentes asociaciones civiles como es ahorita, caminamos juntos, muchísimas gracias por haber asistido. Gracias a ustedes. No, pues, bueno, un aplauso. Gracias, gracias. Hola. Bueno, ya saben, Candice, eh, pues bueno, ahorita es sumamente conocida por sus redes sociales, YouTube, TikTok, eh, entre pues, Facebook y demás, nos va a hablar un poco sobre cómo, cómo se ha vuelto tan habilidosa en estas redes sociales. Sin embargo, también tiene eh, pues, un gran historial académico, tiene una uh, preparación en el sistema justiciero y además un MBA, que es Administración de Empresas. Así que vamos a tener mucho de qué también aprenderle, como tanto a Ezequiel. Y pues también estamos sumamente agradecidos y agradecidas de que se haya tomado, eh, pues ahora sí que muchas molestias para haber asistido, porque viene desde Puebla, y pues también que nos pueda compartir su historia, porque al igual que 
mucha de la población que nos encontramos aquí, pues también la migración le ha cruzado la vida y pues ha tenido experiencias que de plano incluso pues cambió por completo pues su trayecto, ¿no? La migración pues sabemos que por ser ya nada más de Guanajuato es parte de, de nuestra historia, de nuestro, ahora sí que nuestra vida, de nuestra educación, de nuestro alimento, todo, nos marca en todos los planos y pues queremos tener justamente más personas que lo entiendan, Candice es una de estas personas, así que esperamos con mucha con mucho entusiasmo su, su vida, su, bueno, su experiencia de vida. Pues nuevamente muchas gracias y un aplauso. Gracias. Y, y pues bueno, pues eh, un aplauso por favor a nuestra directora operativa que también se ha, eh, se ha lucido en hacer toda la gestión de este evento. Y a Ariel Díaz y también a mi compañera Karen Salgado, porque de verdad que les admiro por toda la gestión. Y pues bueno, eh, por favor, el aplauso. Empezamos, eh, pues bueno, más, más que nada, igualmente agradecerles que este es un proceso de formación, pero también de, de encuentro entre los participantes de Caminamos Juntos, entre la comunidad sanmiguelense y aquellos que han pasado por procesos de, de vida migrante, ¿no? Y al final de cuentas lo que queremos es que haya posibilidades de seguir creciendo como personas, como seres humanos, independientemente a, a la historia, ¿no? Y pues bueno, pues bienvenidos a todos y le doy la palabra a, a Nicole para que, bueno, de continuar al, al evento. Um, no sé si hablar en español. No, no puedo hablar. Voy a hablar en español. La mayoría habla en español. Mi español no está muy, muy bien. Pero... Soy Nicole, ella es la directora de mi familia. Fue, fuimos la primera familia aquí de Caminamos Juntos. Porque de principio pensamos de nomás trabajar con migrantes que recién llegados con casa o alimentos y cosas así. Pero en 2018 deportaron a mi esposo y busqué en tener apoyo aquí en San Miguel y encontré caminamos juntos. Y de principio me ayudaron con buscar escuela porque llegué aquí sin saber nada, nada de cómo empezar en una vida aquí. Y mi esposo es de San Miguel, pero se emigró a Estados Unidos de los 16 años. Y llegamos de los 38 años, entonces mitad de su vida ya. Yo tampoco conocía cómo era aquí en México, cómo buscar trabajo ni empleo. Y era muy difícil para mis hijos, porque eran adolescentes y estaban enojados, tristes, que no entendían por qué regresamos aquí. Pero ahora ya uno de mis hijos está ahí atrás, ahora es voluntario aquí de Caminamos Juntos y ya se siente muy bien ahora aquí en San Miguel, tiene sus amigos, no van a la escuela todavía, van a una escuela por línea en Estados Unidos. Pero como Caminamos Juntos fue una gran ayuda para mi familia y nosotros también queremos ayudar a más familias con lo que podemos y por eso estamos aquí para apoyarles y You know about your customers, for example, I think we have que dos negocios aquí es uh, Herbalife, no? Uh -huh. Hay dos personas que venden Herbalife, ¿cierto? Oh, 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 tiene más, tiene más. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, so there are also jumpers for the kids. So while Fidel was watching the presentation about microloans because he was interested in that, um, I am in the jumper with Dominic because, you know, his separation anxiety stuff is happening. <laughs> so now I'm in the jumper. I just haven't gotten Nicole in the jumper yet. <laughs> I will tell you that it has been a really long time since I've been in a jumper, but I'm not mad about it. <laughs> I was a little, I was interested in the microloans presentation though, but. It's okay, hopefully Fidel's taking good notes. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Wraps up uh, this event with Caminamos Juntos. It was pretty, pretty successful. Yes, it was think? very successful. Yeah, this was a lot of fun. Today. Yeah, this was a lot of fun. I'm very nerve wracking to present because I haven't done that in person for a really long time. But, um, and now we're just gonna work on Nicole learning it so she can present all the time because she <laughs> loves public speaking. Um, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> so they gave me this. These are native to the San Miguel area. We have local artisans that make these and they're really, really beautiful, handcrafted. Nice, and now I have one to take home. So uh, I'll give you guys a little bit more footage and also this amazing St. Bernard that both Nicole and I took selfies with yes. that like basically watches the school. So we're gonna show you guys that and, uh, and then yeah, we'll show you what we do with the rest of the evening. All right, here's everybody wrapping up and cleaning up. And then here's this gigantic dog. So here in Mexico, it's pretty common for them to have um, like guard dogs, essentially. Well, this school that they, uh, that donated the space that we're in right now, they have a couple different dogs and one of them is this very, very beautiful St. Bernard. So um, he's here and my kids are still playing, getting introduced. There's Chelsea's husband if she watches this. <laughs> um, and my husband I think is over by the jumper still, but all in all, uh, great turnout. Awesome to meet all of these wonderful families. And um, hope you guys really like this video and getting to uh, see them as well. All right, guys, so now that the event is over, we got to spend time with families and that that have uh, unfortunately been deported, but now are, you know, here with businesses and things like that. We got to help them with some stuff. Nicole brought us out to the Rancho, right? Um, which is something that you guys know is very near and dear to our hearts because we live on the Rancho. And so, um, there is a stark difference between the city of San Miguel and the Rancho. And I have to tell you, now that we're here, out here, I'll let you guys look around, but now that we're here out here, it feels a lot more like Mexico. Um, at least the Mexico that we know and love. Um, but it's been really, really awesome to see all of this incredible stuff. Um, it was amazing to see and meet those families, to get my hair done. <laughs> um, it's just been an absolutely fantastic day here uh, in Guanajuato with all of these amazing individuals. But please, if you would like to help out Caminamos Juntos and help them help all of these families, um, please check out their website, check out their social media, um, let them know that you're there. And if you um, don't wanna help monetarily, then share their stuff and help get the word out because this organization does a lot of really good stuff and uh, we just wanna, we wanna make sure that they continue, they get to continue to help all of these amazing families that are uh, rebuilding their lives here in Mexico. Now let me show you around. All right, here's Diego. Have you had a good trip so far, Diego? Oh, sorry, I'm eating candy, but yes, I did. I have a, had a blast. Even though I did not participate in the rally that we had, I did be able, I was able to be a volunteer and was able to help the kids learn to do my game. Mm -hmm. It was still pretty fun. Me and Lorenzo still got to play a little, one of the, one of the games of the rally. Mm -hmm. It was a puzzle where you had to make a square. Yeah. It, we were second place to get it. Nice. But it didn't count for us second place because <laughs> we weren't really in the competition. But how's it, it been to, uh, how's it been to meet other kids in our situation? I feel like it's you ha it's I feel like I can talk to them and they will understand them like you know probably other kids who aren't in our situation yeah I just feel like I can talk to them and know that they understand what I our situation and what we all went through mm -hmm. I feel like it was a lot easier yeah like with Ronzo uh -huh. I I was able to talk to him a lot more and we talked about school and you know what happened but it was pretty fun we got to stay Good. here for probably five days but who knows about tomorrow <laughs> day, no no promises but, but you've made friends and had a really good time mm -hmm. yeah it was a lot of fun here nice. i wish it wouldn't end i know <laughs> it's hard to leave the families once we meet them huh yeah i agree all right, let's go check in with Fidel. Dominic, <laughs> in daddy's jacket. Are you cold? <laughs> okay, Fidel. ¿Qué piensas de, de Juanajuato? 
la verdad que es un, es un lugar muy hermoso, la verdad. Nos la pasamos con, con una cultura muy diferente que nunca había conocido yo y estando, estando en México, que es mi, mi, mi país, este, porque me fui muy chamaco para allá. Entonces ahora que regreso, conocer cosas nuevas aquí y también es una experiencia muy bonita para nosotros porque conocimos diferentes, conocimos diferentes amigos, entonces muchas, muchas personas que conocimos hoy en día. Entonces este, para mí se me hizo muy, muy bonito y conocer la otra cultura que es de México, de ahí, que tiene muchas cosas de culturas bonitas uh -huh. que no conocía yo ahora. Entonces la verdad que disfruté, y disfruté mucho porque lo disfruté con mis hijos, cosa que también ellos aprendiendo ahora de, la, la, de esa nueva cultura que es México, porque ahora ya no están en Estados Unidos, entonces ahora tienen que aprender cosas diferentes de, lo que, de la cultura que yo viví cuando era niño, entonces, este, que, y que también que no, no conocía, pero yo la verdad que de aquí me voy con, una, con algo diferente y que me llevo en mi corazón, porque es una cosa muy bonita que me llevo de, de, de Guanajuato, la verdad que una, un, nos, nos, nos recibieron con, no sé, entonces la verdad que yo me voy de aquí agradecido. Y como siéntate, pues mira los otros gentes en nosotros situación, los otros familias. Hoy, hoy también que venimos de la, de la convención que tuvieron aquí, entonces también al escuchar este, no pues, pues este, pues yo como candidato ya, 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 tienen que este, a ver, empezar, a, este, estamos empezando desde afuera porque desde abajo empezaron con sus nuevos negocios, también muchas personas que tienen aquí explorando sus negocios y eso me gustó porque aquí este hay personas que están este con una nueva meta aquí, que es aquí empezar nosotros otra vez desde abajo y empezar con lo, lo poco que aprendí. Yo, yo como que aprendí ya las cosas que aprendí de carpintero y de framing, bueno, ahora lo, lo quiero ejercer aquí en mi país. Y les doy gracias a Estados Unidos porque fui allá y aprendí unas cosas. Entonces me traje algo, me traje algo de allá, sí. el aprendizaje. Y ahora, ahora lo, voy a, lo voy a tratar de a ejercer en mi, en mi país, aquí y... con mi gente. Y la verdad que por eso me voy de aquí. Muy gusto de Y usted Jato. tiene mucho más amigos ahora, ahora ¿no? Sí. Mucho no, sí, nuevo si amigo. <laughs> Shared amigos. contact information with everybody. <laughs> Pero sí, en verdad que sí. Ahora hice nuevos amigos también aquí en México. Entonces, es una relación muy bonita, bonita con las personas aquí también. De, bonitas de México, familias. De México, bonitas familias que, que están luchando también como nosotros. Cuando yo y Candy llegamos la, por primera vez y empezamos desde abajo también otra vez. Y estamos empezando desde abajo otra vez. Entonces, este, vamos poco a poco, nosotros venimos de abajo, también como todos este, este, aprendiendo las cosas, como, como volver a empezar otra vez a México, porque yo la verdad que estaba a mi trabajo, más que nada yo extraño mucho mi trabajo, que era el, el frame en eso sí me encantó porque hacía casas y nunca pude aprender cosas, pero la verdad que pues aprendiendo de toda la gente, de la gente que estamos aprendiendo de mucha gente que, que están en, en, otras, en otras experiencias, ellos aprendiendo aquí de México, empezando de, también de abajo abajo y ver muchos niños sus hijos también que ya ellos también como Diego a hacer más amistades y eso me da gusto que ellos ya se empiezan a abrir aquí también en México a, a abrirse a, la, a las amistades eso es lo que me gusta de vivir los niños de hoy día en los niños entonces pues yo me voy con esa grata ya no un perro me voy con eso la verdad que pues gracias me despido y que tengan un bonito fin de semana ok Nicole one question how has it been to hang out with the famous Diego and Dominic. <laughs> you know, it's been quite a, an experience. <laughs> no, I fell in love with those two as soon as I met them. Like, they remind me of my boys because I have two boys. So, the way <laughs> their attitude towards everything, like, and like Diego said, it felt good for like my kids to talk to other kids that mm -hmm. have been through, through the same thing okay. so as a mama that made me feel good that they could talk to someone else about like their school and this and that it felt really good to have you guys come and spend time with us and... isn't it crazy i always think it's really crazy to see our kids um resilience and then when you meet all of these other kids that have been through it and then you see like how incredible all these kids are like i know it's making me cry but it's incredible to like know that they went through all the trauma that they went through and like we have some of the best kids out there like <laughs> and we really do because as a parent you think the worst like what you know what is you know what are my kids going through they their life must just be miserable and then for them to tell you well, i actually like it better here in mexico yeah. than, than i do in the u.s so <laughs> then make validation sure you, yeah validation it really yeah 
Because Alonzo, Marco, my son Marcos has said it, Diego said it, you know, you feel more free here. You mm -hmm. don't have that worry over your head. And they said there's, it, yeah. There's challenges here, like anywhere. anywhere. But your happiness comes from being with the people you love and who you're with. So the place to me and to the kids, it seems like it doesn't matter. As long as we're all together, that's what is important. So. Yep. You've been an amazing host. Thank you. We love all of you at Caminamos Juntos. And I was just kidding about Diego and Dominic being famous. Well, they really are kind they of are famous. They are really famous. <laughs> They always go viral. Like I love the dinner chicks. <laughs> the dinner chicks. <laughs> and I love seeing what Dominic's getting into day by day. <laughs> what he's what learning he to work. <laughs> what, are you, what is Dominic learning at work today? Yeah. All right, guys, let me show you. Let me show you around this ranch. All right, so I'm just going to walk you around a little bit. As you can see, the Pueblo is back there. They have a well right here. There's some horses that are just free range. Um, I'm going to take you over here because this will feel real familiar from our videos which is of course some sheep grazing and living their best lives <laughs> and then some beautiful mountains in the background just a lot of open space oh yeah Dominic with his talkies oh and the horse I know cool yeah Absolutely beautiful, and you can definitely tell that my husband is now back in his element. 